Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Elric, your host, and today we're gonna do something cool. We're gonna show you basically the content, not a formal unboxing, but the content of the new Vertex 4 from OCZ featuring their own Indolinks controller. This is the 256 gigabyte model. It's all based off the new SATA 3, so six gigabit per second transfer rates. We're gonna hook the thing up, up to our test system, but before we do that, here we'll show you everything that comes in the box. You can see you get obviously the box, you get the bracket bay, you get the screws, you get the drive itself, a little sticker, and the warranty thing. So that's everything that comes in the box, folks. Now we're gonna hook it up to our test station that is behind me. This is based off of the Z77 chipset. I've got the ASUS, this is their Rampage 4 Extreme motherboard. I've got the i7-3770, that's the CPU. I'm using the 612 cooler, that's the people over at Cooler Master. I've also got 32 gigabytes of the new Crucial Ballistics Extreme memory. You guys can see all that stuff back there. And now I'm gonna hook it up to the controller that's on board. This is the Asmedia controller. It's SATA 3, just like the drive. So now let's hook it up and let's do Atto and ASSD and see how fast this drive really is against the competition. Let's go. All right, folks, now the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do as soon as you hook up the drive and go into the Windows environment is you're going to want to make sure the drive is detecting so you want to go into your system and security, create and format hard disk partitions. As soon as you do it, it's going to come up. It's going to ask you to make it a master boot record. Then you'll see up here, I have 238 gigabytes unallocated. I'm going to make this a new simple volume. I'll click next. Since it's going to be a test drive, I'm going to call it drive X. I'm going to format the drive and after the drive is formatting, I'll be ready to go into doing my testing. You can see it comes up now here, new volume X and there's nothing inside of here as of now. It's a completely empty partition and drive. So I'm going to click out of all these. I'm going to go ahead and start up Addo. Alright folks, so here we have Atto. This is one of the main things that people use to test their SSDs these days. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose Drive X. And then we'll go ahead and start beginning testing the drive. And let's see how it fares. The test runs through a variation of iterations that test different things in the drive to give you a final result. But at the end we get a final read and write score. <laughs> Alright man, you guys can see this thing is a very, very fast drive. Both read and write scores are off the hook. Look at the read score. 565.38. Incredible score. Write is over 500 as well. 513.752. Unbelievable. Really, really nice scores. Next up, let's jump into ASSD and let's see how it is. All right, folks, next up, ASSSD benchmark. Let's see how the drive performs. We're going to go to the OCZ Vertex Forge, you guys can see here. And let's let the test begin. We're going to have sequential 4K, 4K64, and then access times. And then we're going to have a final score here at the bottom. So let's go.
Wow. You guys can see the score. Unbelievable. Next up, we're going to show you some comparison charts so you can see how this drive fared against the competition. <laughs> Alright folks, so there you guys can see the new OCZ Vertex 4 is one hell of fast drive. It's actually one of the fastest drives that we've tested in-house yet, smoking most of the competition across the board. It's a very, very fast drive. Now a lot of people out there have problems with OCZ, they say they have failure rates. I've only had some failure rates with one drive, the Octane. Every other drive I've had from OCZ has worked just fine. So maybe experience is varied, but you guys got to give people a break because out there, there's always going to be a failure rate from somebody somewhere. Do you guys want to know how fast it was? That's what we brought you guys to the table. So there you have it. You guys see it, the OCZ Vertex 4. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. We'll see you back here. Well, tomorrow. <laughs>